everyone, Shawnee here. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and share with you the Rat Whisper Diet Supplement. Um, this is a homemade diet supplement that I put together for my rats. Um, we're going to start with our primary diet. For your rats, it should be a high quality lab block. Um, I personally use this Oxbow um, Essentials Adult Rat Food. Uh, do keep in mind that it is for rats four months and older. So if yours are a little bit younger, you may want to look at something a little bit different. Um, but the reason that I like it, besides the fact that it is relatively low in protein, um, at only 15%, is that it's also low fat. And the pieces, as you can see here, are really small and thin, like a little triangle, like a little kibble. And I like that because it's easier for them to hold. and um, it's just those long blocks, they seem so bulky and big, and I usually just find them all over the cage. They don't really seem to eat them. But this is a really good food. Okay? So that's their primary diet. They're going to have that unlimited all day long so that they can't pick and choose what they like of it. It's the most nutritionally complete, and um, it's going to be the best for them. Um, this also, it has no artificial um, colors or flavors and it's, um, like I said, it's low fat, it's got no corn or fillers in it. So it's high quality and I do recommend it. Now for the supplement, this, um, this rat supplement that I created, the um, Rat Whisper Diet Supplement, you're only giving them, each rat, two tablespoons of this a day. Um, other than that, it's just going to be too fattening for them. This gives them a little bit of variety and uh, has a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals and stuff that they're going to need. So the recipe I'm going to show with you today, it makes 20 cups and this would uh, easily feed my six rats for about a month. If you have less than six rats then of course you may want to go ahead and adjust this as you need to. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. To keep my um, RWDS diet as we like to call it, fresh and pest free, I use this Gamma, um, it's called a Gamma Vittles Vault Plus. This is the 15 pound size and you can purchase this at PetSmart or even online. So for this diet I use two cups of millet. This is whole millet that I got at bulk at my local health food store and it is organic. So two cups of that. Take her in there. I also use one cup of pearled barley. This also is found in my health food store. Uh, a good portion of this is found in the health food store in the bulk department um, area. And most of it is organic. Um, so here's the pearled barley. It's one cup. In there. Then we have our Hullis barley for just a little bit more variety. Put that in there. We have some whole oat groats. It's a good little seed mix there. We have a cup of steel oats. Steel cut oat groats. And I know I'm gonna pronounce this one wrong. Um, I have a cup of amaranth grain. So hopefully you know what that is. It's really, really tiny. But that is a cup of that. We have a cup of buckwheat groats. This is the raw version. And a cup of rolled oats. Um, this is also, um, you know, it's basically oatmeal. If you do buy the Quaker version, just make sure you're not getting the instant oatmeal and you're not getting any of the flavored ones because that has way too much added sugar. So just a cup of rolled oats, as natural and as plain as you can get it, organic is best, and one cup of brown rice, regular brown rice, organic as possible. So that makes up the base food of this, the seed and grain mixture. As you can see, maybe, kind of looks like bird seed. 
real small fine grain. Let me throw that up in there. Okay, then we're gonna go, that's 50% uh, of this mix makes up the is seeding grain mixture. 30% um, of this comes from cereals. We have two cups of total cereal. Flake cereal. And sometimes, because these flakes are so big, I might just give it one good crunch. Just kind of break up some of the bigger pieces. Put that in there. Because when you're only giving two tablespoons, you don't want that whole tablespoon to just be one big, huge um, total cereal flake. We also have a cup of Cheerios. Plain, not Honey Nut, not any of the other varieties. Just regular, plain Cheerios comes in the yellow box. One cup of that. We have some puffed wheat. This is by Arrowhead. Found it healthy stores. And we're going to have a cup of puffed wheat. Also by Arrowhead uh, Foods is puffed rice. And there's a cup of that added to our mix. And a cup of puffed kamut? Whatever. It's by Arrowhead. Looks like that. You would have thought I would have looked up how to pronounce these words before I made my video, but I did. <laughs> okay, so then we go on to our seed mixture. Turn that up a little bit. Seed mixture makes up 10%. And in the seed mixture, we have one cup of pumpkin seeds. These are whole and they are raw. And they also are organic. So we'll put those in there. Then we have a half a cup of each of flaxseed. Um, if you cannot find a variety of flaxseed, like I've got golden and I've got brown flaxseed, just go ahead and make it one cup. But if you are able to find the two different ones, get half a cup of each. So this is half a cup of golden flaxseed. a cup of brown flaxseed. Now unlike a lot of homemade mixtures, you will see that I'm not adding any um, sunflower seeds. And the reason being is there are some rats that do have allergies to sunflower seeds. And not only that, but they're fattening. So I'll save them for a treat once in a while. If I've kind of discovered after a couple attempts that the rats don't appear to be allergic to them at all. Mix that in, and then we go on to the five percent of our mixture, which is our dried pasta. And here we have a whole wheat pasta uh, in a panay form, since it was all I could really find that was whole wheat then. But any kind of whole wheat pasta works. That is half a cup, and then half a cup of tri-colored pasta. Now this is a really cool brand that I found um, at my local health food store that I was kind of crazy about and I'll post all that information about this down in the information bar I guess um, because I don't know what it is right now but it is a tricolor pasta and there is half a cup of that spiral is probably the best shape to get instead of the bow ties just because bow ties are huge and like I said they're only getting two tablespoons we don't want that whole table you know two tablespoons to be nothing but a couple big pieces of pasta and that is the mix. Just go ahead and mix it all in here. Now, this, like I said, will last my rats one month. Let me go ahead and get the camera up here for you. Six rats, one month. See, just good stuff. Two tablespoons of this a day. A little variety. And this barely filled my little vault thing here. So you could even keep this in some freezer bags. If you make extra, you might want to go ahead and keep the extra in freezer bags and store it in your freezer just to keep any, you know, those little moths that can get into stuff and all that. So, you can see they're not getting a whole lot of some things and a lot more of others. And that's fine. This is just a supplement just to give them a little bit extra goodness. Okay? Alright, so now that we have covered that, I wanted, let me get my camera set back up here. 
I wanted to share with you my green mush recipe. Um, I can't adjust this. That's what I think it's for. Okay. So then we're going to move on to our green mush. Seal it up nice and safe. For the green mush mix that I feed them, I use green mush by uh, Health Food, um, Health Force Nutritionals. I use some Pepco Omega Plus. This is for dogs, but that's okay. We're only using a little bit. Uh, we got some Gerber baby food. Today is going to be fruit because I give them, um, I alternate fruits and vegetables with them. Today's a fruit day. And a multi-green baby cereal. So the serving size for the green mush is one teaspoon per rat. I've got three rats per cage, so each bowl is going to be a tablespoon. So again, this is if you have, like me, three rats. I picked the worst spoon to use here. Okay, so a tablespoon green mush. to do some baby cereal. We're going to start with two tablespoons. We can always thicken it up as we need to. Okay. For the Omega Plus, we're going to use a tablespoon. And again, this will be a one teaspoon per rat kind of deal. i give them some nice coats. And then for the baby food, I use the Gerber and, um, or you know, Beach Networks too, half a jar per bowl. So I guess you could say one of these little tubs would be cool. A six rat serving. I'm just kind of eyeball it. Okay. And then we're going to use some water. For the water, um, I kind of just use enough to make it into a mush. So I'm going to start with this little two tablespoons and see how it does. I'll bring the camera up here so you can see it. Thank God for editing, right? All right. Yum, 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 yum. Doesn't that look delicious? I just realized it's a lot harder to stir it with one hand than I thought. So yeah, about two tablespoons makes a good, thick, porridge-like consistency. And that's their superfood. I drink a superfood shake every morning. For all the good health benefits it gives me, my raddies get it three times a week. So it's kind of gloopy, looks really disgusting, but they love it, it's, and it's excellent for them. Okay? And the other thing I want to share with you is something that I add to their water. For the first 14 days of the month, I use um, this Ensure Herbal Immune Support. It's an echinacea with golden seal, and I just add um, two droppers per their water bottle. Since it's about a drop per rat per day for the 14 days, um, that equals about two droppers full for the two weeks. Um, so yeah, I just add that to their water bottle, and they seem to sip that down, then I just refill the bottle as it gets empty, and that works. All right, well, that's all. Um, now I get to play with all the fun editing. Thanks for watching.